How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on the persona, the different masks that we all wear in society. Everyone feels that just because they are breathing, that they are alive. Biologically, this may be true, but unless you have a deep zest for life, a deep reverence for existence, can you really say you're living? You are alive only in the proportion that you are aware. So, do you live a life full of awareness? What is it that keeps you from being aware? Our modern day world has caused us to lose connection to that which would allow us to see the magnificence of life. This has happened because in society, we are expected to play certain roles and society is artificial. We slowly get conditioned into having many faces and to be yourself in society can cause you a lot of great inconveniences, hence why almost no one ever shows who they really are. Many of us don't even know who we are anymore, we just think we do. Have you ever noticed how many different people you pretend to be throughout your day? Have you become aware of all the subtle aspects of each face that you wear? When you are in the office, you act in a certain way. You know what to show, what to hide. Do you change the way you talk? Do you change your body language? How about when you come home? Do you put on the face of a father, of a lover? The reality is, is that many of us have dozens of different personas. And the word persona is a very significant word. It is a Latin word meaning mask. And this is where the word personality originated from. Our personalities are the masks that we use to participate in society. So you may say, what's the problem with us having so many different personas? The problem is, is that we start to believe that's who we really are. We become identified to all these peculiar and unique mental constructs. What's wrong with this? Well, before we know it, we are living with a crowd of people inside us, all existing independently of each other with each personality coming with its own sets of likes and dislikes. And how we view the world and take part in the world depends all on which personality is in charge at the time. We become conflicted, it's too hard to keep things in order, you lose track of all the faces you have, you become unconscious, you may say things like, I can't believe I just did that, that's so unlike me. The personas you present to other people vary according to the social environment that you may be engaged in and will be different to the ones you have when you are alone. If you are not aware of the game, of the play that you are participating in, putting on all these different masks will drain you and we long for the moments when we can be authentically us, putting away all our masks. But if you are a person of awareness, you will be able to clearly see the many faces that you display, but you will not become identified to them. You simply use them as a social tool because they are needed, otherwise you will bring unnecessary difficulties into your life. But when you know they are just masks, you use them more efficiently. If someone comes and insults your mask of a lawyer, the insults don't touch you. They are touching your mask, so you don't react and you respond accordingly. If they point out something that is true, you simply thank them and move on. You use your mask instead of your mask using you. You don't derive your sense of self from your mask. So now let's talk about discovering your original face. If you learn to become aware of your personas, who or what is it that becomes aware of it? Go inside yourself and seriously inquire into what was your original face? How did you come into this world? Going deep within, you will realize that you are just the witnessing presence. The problem is, is that your inner witness became entangled with all of the mind's content. But the more you learn to witness your mind without judgment or comparison, the more you will be able to see how all your personas operate. But don't try and change what you see. Otherwise, this will just be one fragment trying to change another fragment. Seeing it is enough, but we are so conditioned that we will fall many times. We will judge and condemn everything that we see, but don't give up. 
soon through the power of witnessing you will become able to recognize the real voice that exists within you when your personalities start to lose their grip on you the energy that was invested in them turns into awareness this is the freedom to look you will no longer be a slave to all the various moods and emotions of the different faces that you carry you will begin to relax more falling into restful awareness then you will know what it is to be yourself you will know your original face meditation is merging with the witness and ultimately even the witness dissolves Shakespeare once said that all the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players knowing your original face you will know how to play this game called life all right guys that's it for today I hope you enjoyed today's topic stay tuned I will continue to elaborate on all these ideas on everything that I share on my channel and I really appreciate you tuning in whether it's on YouTube or through the podcast and if you are new to my channel check out my essential self-development playlist there's a lot of good stuff there and until next time hope you're doing well take care peace